1. Square root of 9 to 12.04 is 30.2. Time on this project is running out. There are no options left. How to get the guests' attention?
Commander! I'm begging you. Don't do anything rash. Rash? Like forcing your own brother into an experiment? I know how this must look, but I never intended any harm to come to him. You must believe me. It's not like I planned this. It was an accident. Seeing David communicate with the Geth, it all seemed harmless. I saw his memory. He begged you not to do this. I was desperate. The elusive man doesn't broker failure. Any war we fight with the Geth will be bloody. I was asked to find a way to avoid that. Who gave you the right to play God? People who are too afraid to make difficult decisions themselves. When they pray for a miracle, they're really praying for men like me to make the tough choices. If my work spares a million mothers mourning the loss of a million sons, my conscience will rest easy. Look at him. Your brother will never be the same. The damage may not be permanent. He might recover some semblance of his mind. Cerberus will never leave him alone. Your brother will always be a lab rat. You're a well cared for lab rat. At least he'd still be alive. So you'll sacrifice your brother's happiness for your own ambition. Square root of 906.01. What I've done to David is unethical. If he dies, it's unforgivable. Let me take care of him. Please. Quiet. Please, make it stop. I've seen enough of your cruelty to know he'll never be free from it here. I'm taking him away. No, leave him! He's too valuable! your brother and this bullet will be waiting for you. Then we'll see who's valuable. Where will you take him? Grissom Academy. They can help special cases like David. Mine is the torture. Joker, contact the Academy and let them know we've got someone who needs their help. Aye, aye, Commander. The elusive man can fire me if he doesn't like it. Square root of 912.04.
have launched. Something on our sensor.
Enter the password and receive a free gift. Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Silence is golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Good to have you along, Kasumi. You ready to go? I travel light. I've already slipped my things aboard your ship. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. What does formal wear have to do with anything? I guess you could go with what you have on, but you'd kind of stick out at a fancy party. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. If that's what Cerberus promised you, we'll get it done. It'll be fun. And if we're lucky, you won't even have to draw your gun. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. This recruits is a 20 kilo Ferris slug. Can I help you, sir? It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. Do you think a Geth would stand out? Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next! Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're... Uh, dead. I was only mostly dead. Try finding that option on government paperwork. <laughs> we need to get that cleared up for you. Why don't you talk to my captain? He's just beyond the scanners on the right. You'll have to make him scream a little. He's not gonna tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs, then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here? And we call it done. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. They didn't make much effort to confirm my death. I'll make about as much effort to tell them I'm alive. Fair enough. But if you have any friends in the Presidium Tower, they might want to know you're all right. I heard you and Councillor Anderson used to be pretty tight. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. Welcome back, Shepard. It has been two years, three months, and 17 days since the Citadel last welcomed you. This is the Zakara Ward Transportation Hub. Public shuttles and shopping are available through the CSEC Security Cordon. That's all for now. Thank you for using Avena. Have a pleasant day. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakara Ward. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel.
Greetings, Earth Clan. You will find many excellent ships for sale here. Only slightly used, yes. Kirishima! Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I interest you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. You know, I use quite a bit of software in my line of work. It's a shame so few understand their own equipment. Besides the most obvious point-and-go nav interfaces, anyway. You wouldn't believe how often I hear, Why is the ship turning around? We're only halfway there. <laughs> oh, I would. You know, I like your products. Any interest in an endorsement from the human who defeated Saren? I'd be thrilled. But I don't think I could afford to pay you for it. Don't worry about it. What if we just work out a discount? Absolutely. Just speaking to my console here. I'm Commander Shepard, and this is my favorite store on the Citadel. That will be splendid. I can edit that and have it working right away. Thank you so much. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? I'd like to buy something. Oh, it's all automated these days. There's a catalog interface over there. If everything's automated, why are you here? Customer service. Sweeping out the store, carefully explaining things to the technologically illiterate. It's stunning how many people think that light moves faster through expensive fiber optic cables than it does through cheap ones. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. What do you... Th Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh, you're Shepard. I, I didn't even think... I well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee a discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. Just got a refund in exchange, though. We need to refresh you. Look, it took me a long time to get this refund. It's a decision. I'm sorry. I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not! Just because I'm a Quarian! I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we... Bah! All we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of our officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. You ever had ramen? It's a delicacy back on Earth. Please move along. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Let's go. Be careful out there. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation Outlet on Zakir Award.
Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. A Volus was in here not too and long ago. And not that ago. I saw. He... Customer service. But we... Although I'm not sure... If what... everything's done by catalog... Come back soon. The nerve enhancements say that there are occasional motor control side effects. Jake loves to run. What if Jake can fall down? Jake is fine. I'm Commander Shepard. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. You know what quarry is. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Seronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarium could have stolen it. I'll close this event report, but I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Are you too serious? What? You falsely accused this girl of stealing from you. All you have to say now is that she could have stolen it? Now, just a minute! And you? She gets harassed and insulted by this guy, and you throw in a threat to arrest her for vagrancy? How about if I run you in for obstruction of justice? You think you're gonna run in a former Spectre? I think both of you should get out of here. Oh, son of a... Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. Can you take care of yourself from here? I guess. I mean, most nights I eat nutrient paste in a Turian shelter. But I'm surviving. Thanks. Talked to him on the wards market. He sent me here. Come on, why do I need to go? This meeting would be more productive if Udina was to join us. My advisor is unavailable. As counselor, I represent the Voice of Humanity and the Alliance. Shepard will be here and... Oh, Commander! We were just talking about you. It's been a long time, Anderson. I hope the last couple of years have treated you right. There have been some rough spots. It's good to have you back. We've heard many rumors surrounding your unexpected return. Some of them are... unsettling. We called this meeting so you could explain your actions, Shepard. We owe you that much. After all, you saved our lives in the battle against Saren and his Geth. Saren wasn't the one commanding the Geth. It was the Reaper, Sovereign. Ah, yes, Reapers. The immortal race of sentient starships allegedly waiting in dark space. Uh, we have dismissed that claim. Shepard. No one else encountered the hologram on Ilos that told you the truth about the Reapers. Only you and your crew ever spoke with Sovereign. I believe you. But without evidence from another source, the others think Saren was behind the Geth attacks. Go back to Ilos and talk to Vigil. Or just look at what's left of Sovereign. It's obvious the technology is more advanced than ours. The hologram on Ilos is no longer functional, and we have found nothing to suggest that Sovereign was not a Geth creation. The Geth are capable of remarkable technological achievements. This is probably why Saren recruited them. This Reaper theory proves just how fragile your mental state is. You have been manipulated by Cerberus, and before them, by Saren. The elusive man warned me. He said you're all too stupid and scared to see the truth. We are in a difficult position, Shepard. You are working for Cerberus, an avowed enemy of the Council. This is treason. A capital offense. That's too far. Shepard is a hero. 
I'm on this council too, and I won't let this whitewash continue. Maybe there is a compromise. Not a public acknowledgement to give in your ties, but something to show peripheral support. Shepard, if you keep a low profile and restrict your operations to the Terminus systems, the Council is willing to offer you reinstatement as a Spectre. What does that mean? Will I need to start filing reports? That won't be necessary. This is a show of good faith on our part. We cannot become involved in an investigation regarding the missing colonies in the Terminus systems. But Spectre reinstatement shows our support of you personally. Take your offer and cram it up your ass. I didn't need your help to stop Sovereign, and I don't need it now. We've tried to be reasonable. A tactic that has been misplaced. If your actions become a threat to the security of Council space, we will take action. Watch your step, Shepard. You've been warned. Well, that didn't go as well as I had hoped. Bureaucrats and politicians aren't going to stop the Reapers. True enough. Don't worry about the Council or the Alliance. I'll find some way to keep them off your back. Shouldn't be too hard. As long as you keep to the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I invited Shepard here to speak with the Council. We just finished our meeting. You what? Consular, do the words political shitstorm mean anything to you? I'm here because the fate of humanity is at stake. That's what you should care about. All you soldiers think alike. You charge headfirst into a problem with no regard for the long-term consequences. I make the decisions around here, Udina. Your job is to clean up the mess I leave behind. Understand? Of course, Counselor. Given the potential size of this one, I'd better get started. I'll be in my office. Sorry about that. Udin has never gotten over the fact that I got the Council position instead of him. Sometimes I need to put him in his place. What do you keep him around for? He's got his uses. And if you want something done on the Citadel, he knows who can make it happen. Plus, he's always happy to attend all those formal diplomatic functions I can't be bothered with. How have the last couple of years treated you? Serving on the Council isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it. But I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line. That's got to be yours. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. I'm sorry, but I can't let you board the shuttle with that. But this is a ceremonial item of my people. Sir, it's a 15 centimeter serrated blade. You humans are all racist.
Commander, you've received a new mess. That Kasumi is an interesting addition to the crew. I can see why she's good at her work. She never reveals anything meaningful about herself. It's all on the surface. It'll be a challenge getting to know who she really is. Anyway, what's up? Do you have a moment to talk? I always have time for you, Commander. I better go. Okay. Maybe we'll talk later. Commander, those provisions you provided were perfect. I owe you. I've already thrown together some of my calamari gumbo. Here, try a bite. Truth told, it's based on an Asari recipe. Seems a little cannibalistic to me with their tentacle heads and all, but they ain't no good grub. Anyway, thanks again. You really came through.
You clean up well, Mr. Solomon Gunn. Hawk won't know what hit him. Remind me, what kind of man are we dealing with? Hawk's a weapons dealer and smuggler. He killed my partner and stole his gray box. Other than that, he's not so bad. Rich, charismatic, willing to crack open a man's skull to get at the neural implants inside. Now's probably a good time to fill me in on the details. You have been waiting patiently. Our friend Hawk is throwing a party for his closest friends. A couple dozen of the worst liars, cheaters, and mass murderers you'll ever want to meet. All bringing gifts as a tribute to the man himself. Our tribute is a lovely statue of your old friend Saren, rendered with loving detail and filled to the brim with our weapons and armor. You can keep your pistol as long as it's concealed. They won't hassle you over a sidearm. Once inside, we'll make our way to Hawk's vault door, somewhere in the back of the ballroom. Then, we case the security and start peeling away the layers. The statue should be there, waiting for you to crack it open and arm up. Then we just waltz into the vault and take back KG's gray box. And I'll finally get a chance to say goodbye. This ought to be interesting. That's what I'm going for. This is our stop. After you, Mr. Gunn. Uh, just one moment, sir. There seems to be an issue with the statue. Is there a problem here? No, Mr. Hawk. Just doing a scan. I don't believe we've met Donovan Hawk. I've heard a lot about you. Name's Solomon Gunn. And though I've heard a lot about you, you've been very busy lately, if the extra net is to be believed. Sir. The scanners aren't picking anything up. Hmm. I don't think our guests would come all the way here from Ilium just to cause trouble. Do you? You may pass through, Mr. Gunn, with my apologies. But I will ask your companion to remain outside. You understand, I hope. Care to explain why my friend has to stand outside? I don't like the look of your friend, so she stays outside. Simple as that. No problem. You're the host. Enjoy the party. Well, that didn't go as I expected. Don't worry about it. I can handle it from here. That's good. Because you'll have to do all the talking. I'll stay out of sight and stick with you the best I can. We'll keep radio contact in case something goes wrong. We need to find the door and case the security. We'll figure out the next step then. How did you ever contain that situation on the hull? Oh, that? A quick application of force, and pressure, and bam. He's the gun. We need to case the vault gun. You can chat up Hawk later. I hear Mr. Hawk's vault is... Say, what's that over there? Hawk's bedroom, I believe. Wow, this is a... This is a very impressive place. Hawk's private rooms are off limits without proper clearance. I'm dying to get in there, but we have to scope out the vault first. Very nice. There's more here than I expected. Password protected voice lock, kinetic barrier, DNA scanner, looks like an EX700 series. Everything a vault needs to be impenetrable. This gonna be a problem? Please, remember who you're talking to. We'll need to get a voice sample for the voice lock. You'll have to go chat up Hawk for that. We'll have to find a password too. DNA, child's play. We should find plenty of DNA samples in Hawk's private quarters. And the barrier? Cut the power. Never fails, if we can find it. Keiji could get through a system like this in his sleep. And I'm better. Let's get to it.
It looks like the barrier's power cable runs under the floor here. I'll set your Omni tool to scan for electromagnetic fields. Mr. Hawk's private rooms are off limits to guests without security clearance. I have clearance to go in. On whose authority? I have authorization from Chief Rowe. Okay, one second. Chief Rowe, Samuels. Have you given access authorization to Mr. Hawk's private rooms? I see. I don't know who you think you are, but Rose says she's never heard of you. Nice try, though. Enjoy the party. Private rooms. We need to get in there. That's the best place to find Hawk's DNA. There he is. All you need to do is keep him talking long enough for me to get a voice print. Pull out the charm on this one, Shep. Whenever you're ready. After you. Mr. Gunn, hope you're having a good time. That scene at the door hasn't soured your evening, I hope. I understand the security, but who would dare try to break into Donovan Hawk's home? Gunn, in our line of work we attract a certain element. Few understand the pains we take to keep the barbarians at bay. People these days want comfort, entertainment, love. They don't see that the galaxy is fragile. They only have to worry about simple luxuries. Why? Because people like me, and you, are doing the terrible things that keep the galaxy spinning. This party is for us. The cleaners. The support structure for the galaxy's gleeful delusions of peace. May there always be a market for the things we do. I said get him talking, and you got him talking. We've got enough of a voice sample. Let him go. Enjoy the party, Mr. Gunn. Once we find the password, we can get past the voice scatter. Some... That door goes to a security room. I'll take care of the lock. There we go. Ready when you are. Got something? The password is Perugia. Huh. That's the name of the man who stole the Mona Lisa. Nice. I tapped their communications. I think we can get past that private room guard. Tell him Chief Rose sent you. Now, I just take the voice sample we got from Hawk and... Got it. Now we can crack that voice scatter. Try the wine? I have to say, it's the best I've tasted. I wish I knew where he gets it from. Trade secret, I suppose.
Change weapon! Look for anything we can get usable DNA from. Just make it quick and quiet. It's clean. It's a plant. <laughs> Found a sample? No. A credit shit. Not a great saliva sample, but it's still useful. We're going to need more than this for the scanner, though. Hmm. No DNA, but... Looks like Hawk's been trying to crack Keiji's gray box. Looks like he's missing something. He hasn't cracked the encryption yet. Empty. Too bad. A cigarette butt would have been a good source. Good morning. Time to wake up. Damn. He can't be in here. Taking cover! Glad that's over. No hair, no skin flakes. The housekeepers must be thorough. Holographic interface. Won't find a sample here. We can probably get Hawk's DNA off the data pad. He seems to have obsessed over this. But I'm not sure there's enough. Let's keep looking. The cleaners don't dare touch treasures like this. We can get some skin cells from the dust. That should do it. Let's get out of here. The barrier's still up. We'll have to shut it down to get to the door. DNA identification affirmed. 